invasive some vipers coming out of St. Vincent, dynamic, out of Trinidad, we had, but uh, we had, uh, we had for the state teams coming from Paul, who is uh, uh, Paul J. We had a whole set of teams coming out of Trinidad and Tobago. In fact, their cricket competition produced some of the, some of the best players in the city. He's a Bianca Dottie. Exactly. Exactly. He's the Stacian King of the Trinidad, who's now a commentator, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that rivalry between Barbie and the Caribbean at that time, played right there in the fight in Manor was tremendous. I remember the time when we had, um, we only had three teams, and it turned out to be the best tournament. Normally, you have to have 40, 50, 60 teams participating. But it's not the style of the tournament. Now. We brought in the tour, we brought in the tour, we brought in the tour, we by helicopter. I remember. You remember that? I remember that very well. Are you people that believe us? I remember that very well. 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 I remember you had also the creation, the atmosphere that was created. Thank you. Thank you. That, that, that is what I wanted to talk about, Hami. I wanted to talk about the fact that the entire community during the fine was involved. Yes. That as you set up the whole stage yes. of that, the staging of that combination, you started with the national anthem, yes. we had running commentary all throughout the community. Yes. I remember that one time there was a view that we were, people even thought it was being carried live on the radio. But the reality was, it was being projected onto the whole community. Now we know that that would not be the origins of women's cricket in Barbados. No. But I, I'm saying it is my view that coming out of that fine um, environment setting and with the impetus given to it by persons like yourself, that moved all women's cricket to another level. Good, good, good. Larry, you're a community practitioner. Arrow here also a community practitioner. Morning, Daryl, you're right. Morning. Well, you should say you're a community practitioner. But the beauty about it, we have the entire community mm -hmm. of work. Mm -hmm. You go door to door before the series starts, yes. letting people know in the community that we can have a major tournament here in the fight. The entire fight by 12 o'clock. Yes. You will probably have city room, you will stand in room only. We created a special stand on the ground called the Popular Free Stand. I remember that. Well. It was very scary. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. I, I, I must tell you, we, Larry, we are now pitching the concept of the T6 cricket tournament. Wow. And which you played in also. Yes. And all the people in the yes. Like in the early days, yeah. Uh, 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 and we are pitching that T6 uh, right now in honor of Tony Cozy and Ray Perez. Here we can have a regional tournament. Right. Right. What is happening right now is this the transformation of the game of cricket from the traditional format. You know, we have to take play in the island. Barbados is now adopting the PSIC. Great event, I believe, the weekly standard yes. will be televised in the Olympic and the IOC. When I, I, I adopt it as the, as the premier IOC, Colima Cricket is now being considered uh, uh, to be part of the Olympic. Yes, yes. When that happens, the best form of it is the um, six or seven. Now, um, if you're going to do tournaments of that nature, as you know, I, I knew that we got given you your passport to play. <laughs> uh, honorary citizen. Uh, honorary citizen yes. of play. But the thing about it, you must involve the community. I can't see nothing progressing in Barbados unless the community are involved. This top down the road can't work.